I am fit to solve the problem Namdekano brought into Nigeria. Ojikalo declares. Is Ojikalo not a noisy felony? Is he not the guy? This guy, see, you know one thing I, I like, I like about this guy. He knows how to noise and he knows how to brag. What he's not able to do, we claim that he knows how to do it. He's a real politician. That is why once he comes into power, oh my god. See, if they are talking about embezzlers, or you have Ojikalo is number one, followed by Korocha. So all this noise is making it just for him to gain that political position as a president. And you hear it. So as the governor, see the kind of money he embezzled, left alone, if he becomes the president, we are done for. Let's hear what you have to say here in this content. Former governor of Abia State and Senator Chief Whip, Senator Oji Ujokalo, has said that he knows Nigerians so well and has what it takes to solve all the challenges Namdekano has brought upon them. He said it and spoke on Friday against the backdrop of his presidential ambition on channel television Politics Today, anchored by Sheung Okimba Luyi, and which was monitored by Saturday Telegraph, retreated his resolve to tackle the economy and security problems confronting the country if elected president in 2023. Hmm. General election, the former governor stressed that he will give Nigeria the confidence that they are Nigerians and the motivation to move forward, saying that the nation is like a football team, which he said he could handle the way he handled Enyimba Football Club. IPOP is too junior to be handled. Nandikano is like my son. I know how to bring him down. He may be hot, but I can make it calm. Leave everything to me. Just make me president in 2023, and you will see the changes. I've been saying this time without number, that I have what it takes to solve the problems of Nigeria. Nandikano is the problem of this country, and it can be controlled, he claims. Rubbish. You see? You see? See, see, see who is talking? That now is the problem of Nigeria. That's our problems. The people who are the problems of Nigeria, they don't, they don't, they don't go after these people. It is people who, who, are, who, 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 who are trying to help the country, who are trying to save the situations, eh? are the ones they are, they, 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 they are laying unnecessary allegation on, you see? I'm not surprised because even you yourself, you have said it that you have Fulani blood running in your veins. So you can use that Fulani blood to rule the country, Nigeria. Don't worry. By the time uh, Biafran freedom is declared, we'll leave you behind. You can stay. Stay in Nigeria. Don't ever come to Abia because you are not needed. You, Joy Bokwe, Loretta Nochi, and what have you, you, you can remain in Nigeria. You can imagine. Namika is the problem of Nigeria. That is the problem. That's the problem. You see, I've said this time without number that our governors will never be in support of Biafran freedom. Why? Because they are thinking about their own self, their own gain, their own benefits. They know that the moment Biafran freedom is actualized, forget it. Nothing for them again. Nothing for them again at all. Nothing for them again. You understand? So that is why you see that they are doing all within their power to see that Biafran does not work out, but it's a lie. Biafran is already knocking at the doorpost. So if you're a Biafran, put up your shoe, your belt, get ready because the, the train is about to leave. Biafran will be actualized. I am not a Biafran, I am not an Igbo, but I wish they actualize their freedom. I want them to actualize their freedom. I want their freedom to come to pass because they deserve it. They have fought for it. Let them have it. Let them have it. Yes, it's their right. Let them have it. They have fought for it. Give it to them. You understand? Yes. 
give it to them. My dear listeners, these are the things we are lamenting of. Crying aloud, pleading, time without number, that look, these people deserve to be supported. Look at them. Hello. Speaking for himself, look at what he's saying. Eh, if only you can make me your president, putting you on condition. That is the tongue of a politician. He put you on the condition. <laughs> you don't know what uh, Ifa Yoba once said. That once I, be I become a governor, that I am going to change the states and all of that. Well, he didn't win. He didn't win. He failed. He failed. He failed. And uh, he failed the, the contest. It was a Chasoldo. Who now won the election? Today, Chasolodu is now the, the governor of Anambra State. You see that? So, um, I will tell you without any missing words that Oji Kalo is a noisy felony. Is a noisy felony. So let us not give him any single listening ear because he is only out to cause havoc. Do you understand? He's only out to cause havoc. Okay? So, my dear listeners, I don't know how else to convince you, but I know that the little I've said should be enough to enlighten you. Do you understand now? So, my dear listeners in the house, based on these very facts and these very notes, I'm bringing it up to you right now so that you too can contribute your quota to this very broadcast. Let me start by hearing from you to know what your take on this very news may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well. Ask the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.